Justin Bieber. How he feels about Hailey Bieber. Justin and Hailey Bieber have tied the knot twice, and the two have been surprisingly candid about their relationship and what it takes to be a married couple. Their relationship has seen almost everything, but yet, everyone wants to know the truth. So let's see how Justin Bieber feels about Hailey Bieber. Justin Bieber and his wife, Hailey Bieber, are a couple who've generally been quite open about their marriage and relationship. In a recent interview, Justin opened up about how, while his marriage and faith have now afforded him a happier life, it wasn't always smooth sailing. Speaking to GQ, Justin explained that even though he felt compelled to marry his now wife, I just felt like that was my calling, just to get married and have babies and do that whole thing. It wasn't without difficulties behind the couple's happy veneer. The first year of marriage was really tough, because there was a lot, going back to the trauma stuff. There was just a lack of trust. There was all these things that you don't want to admit to the person that you're with, because it's scary. You don't want to scare them off by saying, I'm scared, Justin said. According to the interview, Justin was walking on eggshells during the first year of his marriage. Not because of Haley personally, but because he didn't want to ruin this newfound source of happiness. Haley has also spoken about how she was ridden with guilt during the first six or seven months of being married, likely in reference to premarital sex. We all wish there were things we had never done, and we all wish that there were decisions we didn't make, any mistakes we didn't make, but what I learned being married is that every mistake that I made and every bad decision I made, everything I was making myself feel guilty for, actually led to me getting married and it led to me being a wife," Haley explained in an interview. Probably for the first six or seven months of being married, I was just ridden with guilt. I wish I hadn't done this. I wish I had just walked into this clean and free and clean slate. But what it taught me is that it's A, not realistic, and B, we all have guilt and we all feel shame for things we've done. But it doesn't have to define who we are, and it didn't have to define me and my relationship," she added. In news that makes us all feel very old, Justin, Justin and Haley first met in 2009, when then 12-year-old Haley was introduced to the baby singer by her famous father Stephen backstage at the Today Show. After that, they bumped into each other once again in 2011, at the premiere of Justin's Never Say Never movie. But by this point, he was still dating Selena Gomez. Speaking to Elle magazine in their March 2020 issue about when they first got together, Haley explained that she and her now husband officially started dating in 2016. She explained, There was a time when our lives seemed to be going in very different directions. I actually think, now that I look back at it being married, that it was a good thing for the two of us. Very healthy. However, they split six months later and Justin moved on with Sophia Ritchie. But when did the two reunite? Well, as Haley explained, the couple gave things another go after bumping into each other at a church conference. As she said, they ended up being at the church conference together in Miami, and it was the first time they had seen each other in a while. I remember we were hanging out, and I was like, listen, I'm really, really happy for us to be friends again. I want to always be cool and be friends. He was like, yeah, here's the thing, we're not going to be friends. And I was like, oh, is that so? I think we were both a little unsure about what was going on in the very beginning. It was familiar territory, but when a lot of time goes by, it's like getting to know a new person," she said. Later, in July 2018, the couple confirmed their engagement with a lengthy Instagram post in which Justin said, My heart is completely and fully yours. And I will always put you first. You are the love of my life, Haley Baldwin, and I wouldn't want to spend it with anybody else. You make me so much better, and we complement each other so well. Can't wait for the best season of life yet. It's funny because now with you, everything seems to make sense. Weeks after putting a ring on it, the couple went to the NYC's marriage bureau to get their marriage license, and apparently made things pretty official shortly after. They didn't have their wedding ceremony until one year later, when they walked down the aisle in front of hundreds of celebrities in a stunning service in South Carolina. As everybody wanted to have a little look at their relationship, Baldwin's uncle, the actor Billy Baldwin, spoke about his niece and his relationship with Justin. Although Billy and the entire Baldwin family are used to celebrity status, he couldn't help but be impressed with his niece's huge internet following. My niece, I don't even know how many followers she has on Instagram. She must have 20 million followers. And you know, 20 million followers? That's more people than watch a couple of hit TV shows. At that point, you're a social media influencer or a cultural influencer. Yeah, she's an impressive young woman, he said. Not only was Billy impressed with Baldwin's online success as a young person, but he was impressed with her decision to leap into marriage at a young age. He didn't get married until he was 33, but Haley married Bieber at age 23. As Billy said, his niece and Bieber make a cute couple, but it's complicated being married to a superstar. 
I always tell her, I'm in a showbiz marriage, and my wife was a very successful and celebrated recording artist. Like your husband, Billy said. He's been married to singer and daughter of the Mamas and the Papas, China Phillips, since 1995. I said, if you ever want to talk to me about the trials and tribulations, and how to try and avoid the landmines, Billy told Baldwin, I've been with my wife for almost 30 years now. So, at first, the marriage has been a struggle for Baldwin. But it isn't just the fame that's been a problem. Bieber struggles with depression and other mental health issues. But with the help of Baldwin, Bieber is really focusing on dealing with his issues and getting better. He recently took some time off from touring and making new music to focus on his mental health. And Baldwin has been there with him every step of the way. Justin's got an incredible support system. Haley is his biggest supporter. She is there for him in a way you wouldn't expect from a newlywed. She understands him deeply and is 100% ready to help him. He realizes how blessed he is to have her says the source. Justin and Haley have been kicking off summer in style with an excellent getaway to Greece. The Peaches singer shared a selfie of him and his wife, thanking Haley for being a part of his life. Thank you for being the squishiest, most lovable human on the face of the earth. He wrote in an Instagram caption on Monday, June 28th. So since they are enjoying their famous life, everybody wants to find out about their plans. Well, we mean expanding their family. When it comes to having kids, Justin and Haley are in no rush to add another member to their family. The singer addressed why his wife wanted to wait to get pregnant during a 2020 appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. That's not really an issue, but I think Haley still has some things she wants to accomplish as a woman. And I think she's just not ready yet, and I think that's okay, Justin explained at the time. As for how many babies the couple hopes to have, Justin shared that Haley wants to have a few. Well, he wants to have as many as Haley is willing to push out. I'd love to have myself a little tribe, the Canada native explained. It's her body and whatever she wants to do. According to some sources, Haley is super focused on her career right now and is not in a rush to have kids. Of course, they have talked about their future and building a family together someday, but both of them are busy with work right now. What do you think about the Bieber couple? Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.